China's Belt and Road Initiative has scattered almost a trillion dollars into infrastructure investment across the globe since 2013. And some of that money has gone right here in Kenya, specifically this Nairobi Expressway, which just opened in August. The toll highway runs about 27 kilometers through a city with notorious congestion problems. It's cost almost $600 million, entirely designed, financed, and built using Chinese funds. But the bigger project is the railway. The standard gauge railway runs more than 350 miles from the capital of Nairobi to the key port town of Mombasa, funded by a $5 billion loan from Export Import Bank of China. A Chinese firm had operated the railway, but this year Kenya Railways took over the project with the aim of reducing operating costs by 50%. The worry though is that it may not actually be profitable for some time. For many, these projects are welcome, especially in a nation much in need of infrastructure development. There's been great progress on road infrastructure across East Africa, and that's making it easier for us. It's making it cheaper for us or more cost efficient to deliver our brands across the patch. So I would say the transformation we are seeing on road infrastructure is good for business. And money from China has flowed freely across the continent with fewer strings attached than funds from the West. But the financial terms of those deals remain a secret. China is Kenya's biggest trading partner, three times as big as the US. And in the run-up to the elections, we heard both candidates stress the fact that China is important to the economy and will play a part going forward. But that position remains controversial, especially with growing calls for more transparency about these deals and growing concern about debt.